I'm very happy to have the opportunity to address all of you this evening by the grace of Tarun Krishna Prabhu. So thank you very much for giving us this opportunity that we could come together to speak some words in glorification of the process of Bhakti Yoga. First of all, I have to admit that, you know, I'm, I'm born in a Western country. I'm not born in the Hindu culture. So I'm uh, from, you know, Videshi. I'm from outside the culture. I'm from a but I did have the opportunity at a very early age in my life I had the opportunity to contact the Vedic culture first of all as a student I contacted the Bhagavad Gita and then later on, after my graduation from studies, I was working in a job and I then contacted the Krishna Consciousness Movement in the form of the books written by Bhakti. So I had the opportunity to meet with Bhakti Vinayaka Swami Prabhupada in London in the year 1971 and I became his official disciple. I accepted an initiation from him. He kindly granted me initiation. Okay. Uh, I had to put out the Yes, we call the initiation process as Diksha. The word Diksha means the process by which we destroy sinful reactions and we awaken transcendental knowledge. We are all taking birth in this world due to sinful reactions from our past life. If we were pure souls, we would not have taken birth in this world. There are two worlds. There is a spiritual world where the pure souls reside and the material world where the other souls reside. So the contact with the pure devotee, Srila Prabhupada, who became my spiritual teacher, was certainly a great blessing for me. It was a great blessing because it saved me from the material life, from the material world, where there's only a life of sense gratification. In the Sometimes people ask me, what was I doing before I became 
செஞ்ச பாவ விளைவுகளுக்காக நம்ம இந்த யமராஜ் கிட்ட நம்ம வந்து காரணம் வந்து அவங்ககிட்ட நம்ம அன்றாட வேண்டியத சூழ்நிலை வரும் If one is intelligent, one will do some atonement, one will, per, one will perform prayas chit to make up for the impious activities, for the sinful things which one has done, one should perform prayas chit. Now, sometimes we see people do prayas chit, like they may go to the holy place and they will go and take bath in the holy river. Just like many of the devotees here, they go to visit the holy place go to Vrindavan, which is the place of Lord Krishna, and they will perform some prayas chit there. They will go to Yamuna, take the bath there in the holy river. Vrindavan, in Vrindavan there are 5,000 or more temples. Every home practically is a temple in Vrindavan. So when we go to Vrindavan, we can spend a lot of time just going to temples to see the form of Lord Krishna. Vrindavan Dhaman 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 Krishna Dhaman 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 And when we go to see the form of Lord Krishna, at that time we will give some charity. We will put some donation in the box. That is another prayasya, to give charity. Okay. And when we go to see the deity, we may also, we can also offer the obeisances, we may bow our head or we bow down, and in this way we also perform some kind of prayasjas. And the part of the Kovil Pohmadu, we can also offer the obeisances, we may bow our head or we bow down, and in this way we also perform some kind of prayasjas. And the part of the Kovil Pohmadu, we can also offer the obeisances, And then we will also get some of the prasad, which is offered to the deities. And we will honor that sacred foodstuffs, which are offered to the Lord. And the Bible says that the Shukko will be able to do the prasad of the Bhagavan. The Bhagavan is the Bhagavan, and the Bhagavan is the Bhagavan, and the Bhagavan is the Bhagavan. And the Bhagavan is the Bhagavan, and the Bhagavan is the Bhagavan, and the Bhagavan is the Bhagavan, and the Bhagavan is the Bhagavan. So it's quite common among people, they will go to a holy place and they will do these things and when they come back, they will continue to do all their bad things. They went to Holy Land, they stayed there a few days, they did some dance, they gave charity, they went to temples, then they come back, and then again drinking alcohol, eating meat, smoking cigarettes, doing all bad things. <laughs> So that kind of behavior is like the bathing of the elephant. That the elephant will take a bath, but after taking the bath, it will want to throw dirt all over its body. So we call that kind of activity as karma kanda activity. 
it is not actually so beneficial for the living things. In the Mari Kovil Koya Dandana Pandi Parada Kurde, Karma Kanda is a lot. I put out of Kurida Manakaya, beneficial Kaya. What is needed for the soul, for the living entity? There is something more beneficial for the soul, and that is the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. The actual prayasthit, the best of all prayasthit is the chanting of the holy names of the Supreme Lord. Okay. And the Atmat it's only by the chanting of the holy names that we can take away the desire for sinful activity. So we have to understand 